Inspired Beginnings There was another world out there. There was hope. In my neighborhood, you were sort of shut down. Then I started going to art school, and that really opened it up to studies and to meeting a lot of other people. John Dowell John Dowell was fortunate to find mentors throughout his artistic journey. He started making art at a young age, copying cartoons and comic books, following the lead of his older brother, Lorenzo. In elementary school, he volunteered to create a backdrop for a holiday pageant, and the positive reaction he received encouraged him to spend a lifetime creating art. Dowell grew up in North Philadelphia in the Richard Allen Homes, before moving to a house in Francisville. In sixth grade, he signed up for free Saturday morning art classes with the School Art League, an art program of the Philadelphia Public Schools. These School Art League classes, held at Fleischer Art Memorial in South Philadelphia, were his freedom. John Dowell and the Free Library It's the access. When I came around, I didn't know of any black artists. John Dowell John Dowell organized significant donations of his work and those of other artists to the Free Library's print and picture collection. When asked why he wanted to donate here, Dowell said that the library provides access to art and information for free, while other cultural institutions charge admission fees. Object 1. John Dowell, Gimbals, Etching and Aquatint, 1967. This etching and aquatint is the first piece the Free Library acquired by John Dowell. Purchased in 1967 from the artist, Gimbals was included in a print and picture collection exhibition the next year. Dowell says that the title is a fun nod to the former department store in Philadelphia. Print and Picture Collection Object 2. Free Library of Philadelphia. Graphic Media. A Survey. Philadelphia. Free Library of Philadelphia. 1968. Print and Picture Collection Object 3. Romas via Sulas. 1918 to 1986. Wolf, Blind in One Eye. Lithograph. 1957. Romas via Sulas was born in Lithuania and immigrated to the United States in 1951. He began teaching at Tyler in 1960, where he served as the chair of the printmaking department and had a notable influence on the printmaking community. Alan L. Edmonds, the founder of the Brandywine Workshop, an internationally recognized center for printmaking in Philadelphia, said about Via Sulas, I would not be a printmaker were it not for Romas. Print and Picture Collection Object 4, 1952 Dowell signs up for School Art League classes John Dowell, Barbara Bullock, Alan Edmonds, E.B. Lewis, and Richard J. Watson are some of the black artists in Philadelphia who cite Saturday morning art classes through the School Art League as a foundation of their art education. The program was founded in 1923 with locations throughout the city, including the Graphic Sketch Club, now Fleischer Art Memorial. School Art Club's Organized League Philadelphia Public Ledger, November 2, 1923 Art Department Object 5, 1955 Dowell attends Philadelphia's Selective Central High School and studies with teacher Frederick Gill, 1906-1974. Gill was an artist and musician who would play saxophone while students drew him. The Schaefer Gallery the Varied Moods of Frederick Gill, Exhibition Flyer, 1965, Art Department. Object 6, 1959. Dowell enters Tyler School of Art, intending to study sculpture and painting. He soon switches to printmaking and ceramics after meeting influential faculty, including ceramic artist Rudolf Rudy Staffel, 1911-2002. 
Dowell worked as an assistant for Staffel and remembers his supportive nature. While a freshman, he meets Arthur Florey, 1914-1972, in a lithography class and asks if he could try to make a print. Florey agrees, and Dowell makes his first lithograph. Helen Drutt Gallery Photograph by Andrea M. Baldeck Rudolf Staffel in his studio, 1993 Exhibition Postcard, 1999 Art Department Dowell meets Charles Pridgen, a Tyler graduate, who was a mentor to Dowell and many other black artists. Pridgen's studio in Philadelphia was a gathering place for both artists and musicians. He introduced Dowell to the sounds of jazz musicians Charlie Parker, Ornette Coleman, Thelonious Monk, and more. Charlie, Pridgen, would expose me to one artist at a time, and then we would discuss the structure of the music and the implications as a form, the differences between the two styles, and how one style grew out of another. John Dowell Object 7, 1960. Dowell meets Romas Viasulas and finds another influential mentor. Viasulas was the first artist in residence at June Wayne's Tamarind Lithography Workshop in Los Angeles. Tamarind Lithography Workshop. Romas Viasulas. Working on one of his stones with June Wayne watching. Photograph, 1960. Print and Picture Collection 1963. Viasulas recommends Dowell for advanced lithography training at the John Heron Art Institute in Indianapolis, a prerequisite for the Printer Fellow training program at Tamarind. Dowell begins at Tamarind Institute and studies to become a master printer. 1964-1965 